let us understand the concept of forward and backward scheduling. Let us first take forward scheduling. Forward scheduling works on the principle of as early as possible. Now what this means is suppose we are on day 0 and have an order which is due on day 6. So let me draw a time scale. So on the x-axis we have time in days so there's an order which is due on day 6 that means on day 6 it needs to be delivered to the customer now it takes three days to process the order from the raw material now since today we are on day 0 if we use forward scheduling method, then we will start manufacturing this part on day zero. That means here. And since it takes three days to complete the manufacturing of this part, and if the machine is available right from day zero, then we will be able to complete this by day three. So here we'll be completing the job. So in case of forward scheduling, what we are doing is scheduling the job as early as possible. So if the machine is available now, we'll start now and you'll finish off the job as soon as possible. Now in this process, what happens is that you will be able to complete the job on day 3 but it needs to be dispatched to the customer only on day 6 because a lot of customers say that they don't want to receive the material before their need by date so for this time period of 3 days you will have this finished product in your inventory so in this forward scheduling method, your inventories go up. Now let us look at the second method, which is backward scheduling. Now backward scheduling works on the principle of as late as possible. So let's consider the same case that we have a job which needs to be delivered on day 6 and it takes 3 days to process this job. So let me again draw a time scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So sixth day is the day when we have to deliver the job to the customer. And we are currently on day zero. So even though the machine is available for all these six days, we will not start processing this job on day zero. We will take the due date, which is day number 6, and we will take the lead time, which is 3 days, to manufacture the product, and we will schedule backwards. So from 6th day, 3 days prior is day 3. So this is the time when we'll start processing this job. and we will be able to complete it on day 6.
of course this has an assumption that the machine is available on all days starting from day zero in this method because we are finishing the product right on the day when it has to be dispatched the inventory is less however the risk is that you may get some urgent orders on day three itself and then the delivery of one of the jobs will have to be compromised so let's say there is another urgent order which comes from your big customer and now you have scheduled this job which if delayed you will not be able to deliver on time and if we delay the urgent order then you will be having an unhappy customer so that is the risk in backward scheduling 